Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to be ranking the Vampire Legacies 2 game passes. I realized that I haven't done that um, before and people are worrying what to buy and what to not. So we're going to be ranking them on three categories. Obviously I do that every time a game came out. So first category is how powerful the game pass is. The second category is... Um, the availability of the game pass, is it always taken, is it not always taken, you know, that's that kind of stuff. And the third category is, is it worth it? Is it worth the price uh, to buy it with, okay? So don't forget to like, subscribe, and join my Discord server, link is in the description, as well as my Robux group. It only takes you two seconds, but it helps me a lot, but let's get into it. So I use this website, I'm going to leave you the link uh, down in the description if you want to use it yourself. But uh, for now, we're going to be using this website, no gameplay with the background because it is important for you guys to know what to buy before buy it. Because, you know, 1000 Robux, 800 is a lot, so you don't want to mess that up. So first of all, we got Marcel. Now, Marcel is pretty strong. I would put him over here because he can kill originals, obviously. But I don't think he's OP because he can get dragged by um, a white oak stake and um heretics by siphoning him up so i don't think he's as strong as the character i'm gonna be saying like soon but obviously i would put him as strong also i forgot to mention that we have op strong average bad and garbage <laughs> so <laughs> that's how we're gonna be ranking people okay next we have is elijah i would put him as strong but under um, Marcel, because obviously Marcel can kill Elijah, but Elijah cannot kill Marcel. So, yeah, if you want to buy him, I would say buy Marcel instead. Next we have is the original bundle, which is Cole and Finn. Obviously, less than, uh, strong, but less than, um, Elijah. So I'm going to put it over here. Next we have is Doug, Josie, and Josie. Now... I know most of y'all are going to expect me to put it as OP, but no. Dark Josie is totally not OP. I would just put her as strong, but above um, Marcel. Uh, because she can die so easily, especially if she's a heretic. Uh, you just put her to sleep or snap her neck, and then you can do two incendias and she's dead. Or if she's a witch, obviously she got protection from Heart Rip and Strangulo. But it doesn't make her immune to Adsonum and then to uh, incendia which makes her i mean strong she can protect herself but most of the situations she just can't so i put her above marcel because obviously marcel can cannot do anything against her but she is she is strong next we have is the heretic bundle now i would i don't know what to do because like the heretic bundle one and two are basically the same nothing different but it is weird because like I have no idea if to put them under the originals or above the, the originals. Um, but for me, I think I'm going to put them above the originals. But under Doug Josie, obviously. Um, Valerie is going to be above the Maddie and Nora, obviously. So, heretics are good. Like, really good. Why? Because they got their magic on their side. So, they can... Um, solo or they can they can like target uh, originals but they're gonna have to be really focused you have to focus before attacking original because you don't want them to sneak up on you and then kill you but obviously if they were following you you have many the quals around so which you put them on the floor you kill them and then before they get up you siphon their heads and you know you just annoy them until they leave or like just siphon them until they die so for me i would definitely put uh, heretics above originals even marcel himself because um obviously they are they are quite powerful if you think about it if you know how to use them too they are extremely powerful but obviously that josie pops them because like they both has magic and they both are her heretics and the winner is mo most likely to be Dark Josie because she has an insta kill, which is Ignis um, something, like the fire explosion. It's basically an insta kill to everyone. Heretics, witches, even originals, insta kill to everyone. So I think Dark Josie is most likely to win this fight than heretics. So I put them under heretic, under Dark Josie, but above originals. Next we have is Landon. Now Landon, I would put him as bad. I know this is like a 
I don't know how to contribute or blah, 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 something. But like seriously speaking, I think I would put him as bad because obviously his his abilities are so little for his price, which is one thousand, and he can die so easily. Um, either from mass spells or from the arrow, but. Uh, Unfortunately, I would say that he's bad, not average. So, if you wanna buy him, go ahead, baby. But for now, I put him as bad until he gets new abilities. Especially, like, the fire torrent thing. It takes all his magic so quickly, which is not good. And the good thing about him is that when he flies, he's immune to most spells. But that doesn't make him, you know really good either way next we have is rebecca she's basically an original so i put her above um finn and cole all originals are good to be honest they're all good next we have is hope michelson here hope michelson is overpowered if you don't have the red oak stake to kill her you're pretty much cannot do shit against her and she can kill anyone, especially her insta kill, which is the head decapitation, um, the scream, the repulse. You can basically just do repulse and then kill people. It's it's so easy to kill people as her. So I would put her as overpowered. I put her the most powerful game pass in the game so far. But yeah, that's my opinion. Next we have is Michael Michelson. Michael Michelson is easily above. Um, I don't know where to put him above Marcel. He's definitely above Marcel. But where do I put him? Above Heretics or under Heretics? Because he has a... You know what? I'll put him above Marcel. Because he still can get drunk by Heretics because they have magic and blah, blah, blah. So why did I put him above Marcel? Is because he has a white oak stake that can kill Marcel. And he gets it for free every time he respawns. So we're going to say cheese. But Marcel can kill uh, Michael. Yes, he can bite him, but don't forget that his bites can be cured by either Marcel's blood or uh, heretics or siphoners siphoning the venom. So either way, I think I put Michael above Marcel because Michael's stake is more lethal than, than uh, Marcel's bite. And I'm pretty sure that Michael is better than all the originals. <laughs> Next is Klaus. I mean Klaus. <laughs> Klaus, just just under Marcel. I think I put him under Marcel. Yeah, I just put him over here. That is literally the what is it called? The ranking for the game passes for the Vampire Legacy Two when it comes to power. And now let's move on to the ranking when it comes to availability. Now we're going to be ranking the game passes when it comes to availability. First we have always available, often available, somewhat available, and then rarely available, and then never available. So we're gonna go to start with Marcel. Marcel is gonna put him as somewhat available because sometimes 50% 50, 50 of the time you're gonna find him um, taken, 50% of the time you're gonna find him available, so he's somewhat in the middle. Um, next we have is Elijah. Elijah is often available. I never, I think, there's always this time, like most of my time when I play as Elijah, I found him available. I've never actually found him taken, but yeah. Next we have is Cole and Finn. They are always, always available. I've never found Finn and Cole taken, ever in my life. So, yeah. Next we have is Doug Josie. I'm just gonna put her as never available, honestly. If you don't steal her, you will not find her ever. So, I don't know what to, you know, put her other than that. But, like, she's always taken. She's never available, which is, you know, sad. But, yeah, understandable because she's like Josie. Next you have is Heretic Bundle 1, Mary, Nora, and Bo. Obviously, for me. I think Mary and Nora are always taken. Bo is like um, somewhat available. So I would put them as rarely available, this bundle. Because like, you know, because of Mary and Nora, I sometimes always find them um, taken. But yeah. Next we have is the Heretic Bundle 2, which is Valerie, 
and you know Malcolm and Oscar I will put them as somewhat available but above uh, Marcel because I always find Oscar and Malcolm uh, free I've never find them taken Valerie sometimes taken sometimes not but I would put her as somewhat available next we have is Landon Landon honestly I would put him as somewhat available and above heretics because obviously at the start of like the game um, he was always taken but then like people stopped playing him for so many reasons so i will put him as somewhat available and i think that's where he deserves to be next we have his hope i would obviously put her never never available above that josie too because sometimes you might find that josie like not taken but hope good luck babes you will never find her taken i mean you never find her not taken she's always taken a well-deserved her spot you will never find her taken if you buy her just expect that if you don't steal her you're not gonna play as her Next we have is Michael. I uh, put him as somewhat available, honestly, because like I don't think he's always taken. I think he's in the middle, so I put him there. Klaus is rarely available, cause like everyone loves Klaus. Everyone wanna play as Klaus, so I'll put him as really available. Rebecca, um, I'll put her as often available with um Elijah. So that's my ranking for availability. If you Thinking of buying Hope and Dark Josie, make sure that you are aware that you'll never find a spot to play as. You're gonna have to steal, or maybe one out of I don't know twenty servers you will find a spot available. So if I were you, I would be careful before I buy a game pass. And for me, if I want to start as anything, I would start as Heretic Bundle One, because especially if you love witches, because they have good abilities and they're also vampires. And then once you have a game pass that you can play as and never taken then you can buy a game pass that is always taken like hope and duck josie so you can always have something to play as but also has your favorite character you know just in case you find the spot like sometime or you steal sometimes you know but this is availability make sure you take a screenshot to make you know buy a game pass that you want to find available and you want to play as but yeah let's move on to the last one which is worth the price let's go so next we're gonna be um you know ranking the worthiness of each game pass so we have first of all we have buy it while you're waiting bitch buy it <laughs> and then we have worth it and then we have average and then we have not worth it and then we have go don't buy so let's get into it um marcel i think um uh, i'll put him as him average because of his you know um ability but i think he's basically just an original but with a bite so i don't think he's worth um that price i think he's a, a little bit average so i'll put him in the middle next is elijah i'll put him as you know not worth it i've seen better originals no wait i'll put him as average but under under marcel so yeah next we have is the the original bundle i would say not worth it i mean unless you want availability but obviously you're not gonna buy them they are they have like less stats i think and they're not worth um the price that they are in so i would just put them as not worth it next we have is that josie buy a bitch because that game pass is so good i love playing Doug josie and josie the outfit is too much next we have is heretic bundle one and two i would say buy it these two are obviously on buy it landon i would say girl don't buy at least not yet buy him um if you know they buff him but other than that i think i would put him as girl don't buy next you have is rebecca i'll put her as average obviously hope i'll put her as buy it bitch but above everyone even though she's taken a lot but she's really worth her price so i put her as buy her already anyways next you have is michael i would say buy it buy the game pass um it's worth it uh the steak you get free steak you know that steak how much it costs it costs 50 robux 
You buy it for free. Mm. Listen, get it. Unless you want to like kill myself or something, it is worth it. And then Klaus, I'll put him as worth it because he has a wolf side. And let me tell you something, wolf side is OP as no. Not gonna say the word, but it is so OP because like no one can hurt you when you're on your wolf side. No abilities works on you except for Aquala and Incendia. But other than that, nothing works on you. No push, nothing. So I'll put uh, Klaus and um. Michael is worth it. All heretics, Doug Josie, and Hope as bio already. And then average is Rebecca, uh, Elijah, and Marcel. Not worth it is Colin Finn. And Girl Don't Buy is Landon. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helps you guys a lot. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye!